How you doing everybody? A new episode of the Civilization Revolution tutorials. Um, and we're back. Yeah, sooner than probably you guys were expecting. <laughs> because I received way too many messages uh, regarding playing with the Arabs. So I decided to make a couple videos about it. Um, you guys can see the the bonuses for the Arabs, the goal and the mathematics so you can get some catapults early. Uh, after that you get the cavalry, you got plus one in attacking and after that this, there is an interest that uh, it's gonna be applied to your gold reserve which uh, make it very very nice if you're going for a for a economic victory right um so the start let's find a good location this video is not gonna be as long as the Russian because that was crazy <laughs> i think i think this was gonna take uh, what we're gonna try to make it shorter and um probably skip a couple parts boring parts of the game um just move forward as fast as we can but we're not gonna try to miss any interesting point right right now funding trying to find first location for the main city tripoli uh that's kind of risky but i would love to take whatever is in that <laughs> barbarian uh village so we're gonna absolutely it, every time that you found a city close too close to barbarian uh, village you get a, a militia for defenses so okay here we go we got a free defenses right now so it's not too bad right that's something that you, you can also consider when you're you finding your first location right you're always gonna get that militia for free uh, that allow you to get something covering your base so I think that it's really, really worth the trick. Uh, right now, you see, it was very easy. The first village, the one of the reasons because we remember we start with religion, and religion that means that we have fundamentalists, and that means again that all our units, ground units, have plus one in attack. So that's something that we need to take care of the first part of the game, right? Um, there's too many ways to play with the harab. Um, actually, it's a very offensive. Ooh, oh, the Russian. That's. I think I know those guys, yeah. <laughs> the previous videos is about the Russian. Um, you can be very aggressive with the Arab, especially because you got that bonus. So it's something that many people, when they play online, um, they like to use it like that. It's a very aggressive civilization. Um, as you see, the the, the, the other the bonus that they have is that the, the cavalry got plus one in attacking. So that actually show you how important it is to take an uh, take the offensive, right? Like uh, right now, we're trying to take all the villages as fast as we can. We're not losing many units, as you guys can see. That's because of the bonus of the fundamentalist. Um, now we're gonna. Ooh, we're too close to the Russian. That's not even funny. But uh, we're gonna start with the classic three warrior set. At least we have. Yeah, we have an onyx in there, so maybe we should post. We can go for for some uh, host riding first. Trying to you know, remember, it's very important that you need to adapt. Your, you you can't just go to one game thinking, okay, I'm gonna play just like this. I'm gonna use only the bonuses of that civilization, and I should do it because it doesn't work that way that's the beautiful thing about civilization you need to adapt you need to find a uh, different ways to win okay not because for example the 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 arab is good in the economy uh, means that you are just gonna go always for the uh, economy victory right that's i don't think that's necessary right uh, i'm just gonna keep myself on the land at least for now yeah just in case they remember the only the only thing that we lost is that the the libraries they're not gonna have the effect of the science with fundamentalists right but for now we're fine um trying to probably get host riding and uh, that will allow me to use that onyx in there and caravan caravan is a very very important piece into the arab strategy uh again i was trying to explain myself that it's not really necessary to just go for the bonuses for the Arab, um, but uh, it's, it's, it's something important to consider. Remember, the caravan will give you more a bonus and goal. Um, so, 
it is it is worth it to have a couple of those hanging around, right? And in this case, we allow me to see it's a big big bonus for for the first part of the game, right? 50 gold is is huge because we are like a halfway for the free settler, right? So that's why it's very important to use the caravans at the beginning. So uh, I know you guys are not gonna have access to to build caravans that early in the game, but uh, see, we already got the settler, so that's that's great. We have fast fast really 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 fast expansion, so that's really important in the in in this game is too it's too early yet so that's great usually it take longer to get that money um so it's very important for you to move your warriors toward take all those landmarks and also try to take the the villages maybe you can get lucky and get those free caravans right that's that's very very critical and that's one of the again one of the bonuses of the arab so you might always want to take advantage of that so as you guys can see, we have another barbarian village. Um, just trying to have an idea how is the terrain. Okay, we have only one entrance from this side. Uh, so it's very important to be planning your future. You're trying to plan what is, which one are going to be your choke points because you can't just let uh, everybody hanging around in your area, right? And you're close to your base and everything. That's that it doesn't work that way. Um, you really need to take control uh, of all the entrances, entrances to your territory. So it's it's critical to to keep an eye on that. Um, so let's see what we're gonna do with that settler. Uh, probably gonna go for that the bonus that I'm gonna receive in that uh, barbarian village. Um, that will probably allow me to see the onyx is already a, a good boost for the at the early stage of the game, as you guys see, because of the I got uh, food and production in the same tile, right? Uh, yeah, let's go for a galley. Right, a galley will be nice. They always very useful, sp especially at the early stage of the game, because you can explore the area very fast, try to see maybe you can find some good islands around you, and um, it will allow you to get some good and safe expansions, right? So we're trying to find a location for our second village. Um, we'll see what we get in this. Barbarian village. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, nice. Another caravan. Good. Okay, another barbarian village. Uh, yeah, if I'm not wrong, we got game in there. Okay, so not too bad. We're not going to get that bonus until we get the feudalism meta. Still good enough. Okay, so I guess we got that base entrance to this area, and we got the Russian from the other side. Um, it's very important to sc scan the map to see what we're doing. Let's see if I can get the bonus again um, with the caravan. Try to get some um, some gold. Um, I just I still don't know which one are my other. Opponents, uh, the Russian is already tough enough. So, <laughs> uh, we're gonna create in here. It's a very reliable. It's a good location. We have well. We have a uh, game. Um, I guess yeah, yeah. It's a good city. You have uh, plenty of space tiles for uh, training. So in case you I decide to go for some a boost in science or on gold, right? So that's very important. I mean, the first city can be. Uh, I mean, if you make a mistake, it's not that bad. But uh, the secondary, no matter what, you gotta be careful, all right? Because that will actually dictate what's gonna happen in the future, pretty much. Because uh, you're not gonna have many changes, uh, chances to get back in the game if you're making a mistake like that with the secondary, right? So in this one, yeah, we're gonna keep it in there. We're gonna use these warriors to block that area as a checkpoint. Uh, what I put a horror there? Okay, we got Moscow right there. <coughs> Just trying to scan the area, and make sure we got everything in. No flaws, at least for the first part of the game. We can try to go to the barbarian, but <coughs> just probably rather keep it in there for now. Boom, boom. Caravans are so so useful at the at the beginning. 
because of the the extra movement, right? So it's something that is very important. Sometimes you uh, people just use it straight to get that bonuses in gold. Um, something you need to just hold for a few and then. Uh, yeah, let's go for Masonry. Maybe we can get the free the free one. Nah. Probably defense will be more important. <coughs> ah, let's go for defense first. Um, now that we have a, a decent location for the second city. Ooh, that's the Egyptian. <laughs> wow, that's not funny when you meet the Egyptian with the Russian. That's pretty tough. The, Egy the Egyptian is very, very very difficult opponent um, so we'll see you know I, I'm gonna use my galley to to do more exploring because I don't think I'm going any <laughs> any further I'll over there um, I can probably try to go there but I don't want to lose my caravan so keep it there one more turn see what happens no wanna rush yet I don't wanna waste my goal in this but um See, maybe now we can. Ooh, it's moving, moving, moving. Uh, I'm not gonna put in risk. Let's go for. Let's go to Moscow. Sometimes you need to <laughs> change, make some change on the fly. It's completely necessary. I'm gonna keep my my warriors in there, blocking uh, the choke point. So make sure the Egyptian doesn't go. Uh, doesn't put anything in my area. Because that will be trouble. Um. Yeah. So far, so good. No other bad, bad star at all. Um, still thinking. In, uh what's gonna be the strategy in this game? Because uh, as I was telling you guys, it's important to to improvise, right? That's that's the key of this game. Otherwise, uh, yeah. Let's go to Moscow. Um, if you don't improvise, you can get stuck big time. If you're just trying to get that domination victory or something like that, uh, it's very important to see your surrenders and uh, and what's going on, right? Because uh, that's the important thing about civilization. I mean, everything is like a random event, so you don't wanna miss the. You wanna just close yourself to one strategy, right? Uh, let's get some some archers now that we have our first galley, and so I need to start fortifying a little bit, uh, especially with the Egyptian. The Egyptian usually is very aggressive, <coughs> so it is very important to to do something about it, right? <laughs> All right, here we go. More profits for the goal. That's the only good thing about having Moscow close, I can I use my caravans very effective, right? But let's see what we can find in here. It will be nice if we can. I don't see we're gonna. Yeah, that was a very smart move. <laughs> well, we are right there. I just need to see what's gonna be my first uh, expansion, right? It's very critical to to have a, an idea. Because right now with those two cities, maybe I can put another one in the middle, but uh, uh, I need to get out of here, right? Especially because I'm still not sure what kind of mm, victory I'm going to be focused. So it is critical to just have all those options, all those plan B, C and D, <laughs> right? Okay, now we have the bonus of the mathematics, which is very important. So now we can do some catapults. We have the free wall. Which is great. Uh, the bum. Uh, let's try to do this um, clay. Let's see if we can get some. Okay, that's something. It's a friendly village. So we can try to steal something from there. Um, well, let's keep exploring and continue the next video, fellas. Whoa! Surprise, surprise!